Uh, we are here in Borderlands 2. I would like to show you something that I think that a lot of people have been having a little bit of trouble with, and that is the map exploit that we're going to use to solo Pyro Pete. Now, Pyro Pete is one that is probably the easiest of the Bray bosses in Borderlands 2 to actually solo, and so. Um, you might have seen different, you know, different tactics, and you know, if you have the right combination of gear, then you should be able to accomplish it pretty easily. Um, the main thing with Pyro Pete that's kind of a pain in the butt has been his area of area of effect attack that will leave you burning, and you have to pull the little thingies and get it through the water, and you have to fight some rats or whatever like that. But I'm gonna show you a tactic that's gonna help you get through this. So. We're over here at the beat down, and as you can see, I've just now got there, and we're kind of going through the gear. Um, the guns that I like to use when I do this, I like to use the, um, the whatever it's called, the Sandhawk. Um, I have a corrosive version of the Sandhawk, and any electric gun will work, but personally, I like, I, I just use a vault off uh, electric pistol because of the high rate of fire. Um, if you have an infinity pistol, that would be very useful as well. Um, but really any electric gun will work uh, the Sandhawk I mean I've been trying to find different guns I've I mean, I've seen people online uh, use that as their power repeat solo technique and it's become a it's been a pretty popular gun when you combine it with the B shield because of the you know the constant damage and stuff like that and I've experienced I have experimented with a lot of different guns while doing this tactic and it's the only gun that I've been able to figure out how to do anything with this with. I mean, at least as far as damage, and I'm not sitting there all day. I mean, I guess you could experiment with, like, the Mackie or the Varuk, um, but those just took a lot more hits, it seemed, than I w when I was using the Sandhawk, and my version is a corrosive version, so when you take that into consideration, um, Pyro P actually takes reduced damage when you use the corro any kind of corrosive gun. Um, fire he's resistant to so um, to my surprise it actually does more damage as it is I mean that it does but here we are we are in pyro piece bar I was I, now I go through here and you know I kind of load up on my ammo and make sure that I'm nice well stocked pyro Pete has a lot of health so you're gonna need pretty much full clips of ammo of everything and I have the sham loaded so I'm gonna go down here I'm actually gonna get rid of my grenade mod um, that is key and I'm also going to switch over to the B shield, which is what a lot of people use when they're soloing these bosses, or just the bosses to help you kill them quickly as possible, do as much damage. But yes, you want to make sure that you have your grenade mods off, um, because you're going to need to use, and you're going to have to do a grenade jump in order to get to the spot that you're trying to get to. Um, and so now we are going down this corridor and. You know, it's taking forever and blah, 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 blah. And so here we are. So I'm running down. I'm about to show you the area that we are going to run to after we activate it. As you can see, this little area, if you look up a little bit, you can see that there's a little step that you're going to kind of jump on. And we're going to get on top of this little platform to do our attacks. And so I'm about let's run over here. Let's call out Pyro Pete. And so here he is being all crazy and mess like that. And so here we are. We're gonna throw the grenade, and you're gonna time it, and you're just gonna do a little jump, and it should boost you up if you do it just right. That was probably one of my least graceful jumps right there, but trust me, it works. And basically, from up here, you are going to not get hit by most of Pyro Pete's area effect attacks. And so now I can just slag him and just wear down his shield with the with the with the pistol. And um, like I said, if you have an affinity pistol, this would be really, really, really awesome because you're not going to run out of any ammo at all, as you as you already know. Now, when he does this area effect attack, you'll take off a little bit of damage that comes off your B shield or your shield in general, but not enough to really do anything. It should regenerate. You shouldn't get hit by the attack. So Pyro Pete comes up here, and he makes an attempt to try to jump up onto the spot. And he should get into a spot that where if you jump down, he should be stuck. Now, the key here, and you should be able to just wail on him from this point on. 
Um, the key here is just to make sure that you don't run too far out because if you do, then he's gonna be, he's gonna jump out and he's gonna find you again. And as you can see, he did his area effect attack again right there, and it did nothing to me basically except for take off a little bit, just a few points off my shield, recover it really quickly, and I can continue to kind of wail at him. Um, but as you can see, like my character is not taking that burn slash corrosive effect that you normally see when you when you take it and so now that is now that his shield is gone I've switched over to the corrosive sandhawk and I basically can just sit here and wail on him without much trouble until his health is gone as I was saying earlier Pyro Pete takes a hell of a lot of health and so um you know with this make sure you get him into a spot you know try to aim for the critical hits if you have a non corrosive sandhawk that would definitely help out here to help this process go by quicker. Um, if you have another gun that you have in mind that might be able to work better, by all means use it. I mean, I, I don't, I personally don't have some of the better guns like the conference call or anything like that. But if you have a, a really beastly weapon that you like to use when you use bosses to wither them down, then by all means use it. I'm just using the Sandhawk because it was the one weapon that I could actually find that could do enough damage to them. Um, without me having to run off and get more bullets but um, you also notice that Pyro Pete's one of the few raid bosses like slag actually works on them so you can actually you know that'll actually work to your advantage um, yeah I, I, would, I would assume by if you gotten this far in playing Borderlands 2 then you know what good effects slag will do for you but um, but yeah uh, that that is pretty much the tactic that we have in order to use the map exploit um, if he ends up jumping off and running back into the middle of the, of the playing field then just quickly run over throw another grenade do a grenade jump climb up back up to the top and just continue to wear him down from there and kind of just do kind of a, just a rinse and repeat uh, it's not really a difficult task um, it just kind of takes a while this took me roughly about six or seven minutes um, I mean, if you have a better gun or a more beastly gun than what I've been able to use, then you might be able to weather them down a little bit quicker. But um, this is in this particular video, this is the quickest I've been able to do. Um, I've done it multiple, multiple, multiple times now, and I've gotten different results each time. Sometimes he goes down quickly, sometimes he doesn't. But as long as you don't move and you don't give him an opportunity to really do his, his jumping attack, then you should be able to do an alternating you should be able to alternate between slagging him and just doing this constant area of effect damage because and you'll sh you should be pretty good um, I like to find unique ways to solo these raid bosses because when I play online with people they have a tendency to piss me off when you're playing with randoms now of course if you got some buddies and a, and a group of people that you're always playing with the these things can be a blast to do but, you know, I've had a couple of incidents doing these raid bosses where guys have came in, we beat, we defeat the boss, they come in here, steal all the damn loot and all the good stuff. And, I mean, we had a legendary drop. He kind of just ran in, grabbed the weapon, and exited the game without really even talking to anybody. So, but uh, as you can see, he has dropped, he has been dropped finally. And, you know, the general explosion of, or loot explosion as they like to call it, um, kind of going through seeing if there's anything special no legendaries this time but of course he drops the usual serif crystals and iridium that you know that's always important when it comes to fighting these these raid bosses and and, and obviously the serif crystals help you buy really good weapons but um but that's pretty much it uh i, I you know you can always leave a comment or two let me know what kind of weapons that you use if you want to solo pyro pete and and uh, if you have any other suggestions or any other thing you want to add on to this walkthrough, then I will feel then, then feel free to leave it. But if that's if anything else, y'all enjoy y'all day. See ya.